Had to get the band back together. Yeah, yeah. I Steve forgot I Sanders did that with back. Sanders. It's the voice of an angel, that guy. No He's offense. Got, he is a, well, no, I, I admit it. He He's is. a great guitar player. He's something else. Yeah, we got to check in with him. I hope he's enjoying retirement. All right, yeah. let's get to the nine and nine. Okay, yeah, number nine. Uh, to say I am merely excited about summer fashion is like saying Barbara Streisand is merely annoying. It's a huge understatement. So excuse me if I'm a little bit breathless here this morning about some retooling that I did on my blog. It's been renamed Paul's Fancy Fashion Ooh, Pet Plates. I love the uh, peas in there. The the title, yeah, with all the peas would fashion. be even more yeah. clever, clever. But anyway, uh, here's something that has me jumping out of my velvet Gucci loafers. Take a look at these. One of my followers, Kelly B, has sent me bulbous trousers. Oh, man, I was looking forward to uh, you yeah. saying bulbous. Yeah, and I've been begging uh, for this look for years. And finally... I could have gone so many different ways. Right, Unfortunately, yeah. it went I, yeah, exactly the, most the way interesting, it just went. Yeah. Uh, a uh, men's designer memorable. at the uh, London College of Fashion has made these happen. They're inflatable latex pants. Man, I just wish my dad was around to wear these. Yeah. He would love to work yeah. on the old Chevy yeah. in this outfit, mm -hmm. changing the oil, yep. spinning the tires around. That's a man's look right oh, there. Oh, it sure is. Yeah, yeah man's man. Yeah, I think a guy who looked like this without those pants a few right. years back. Yeah, the calf implants? Yeah, that was what they well, were. Yeah, yeah, something sure. like that. <laughs> so you're welcome. Happy Father's Day. Ah. Yeah. All right, number eight. We've come a long way since the 70s. Not on this show, but in general. <laughs> uh, check out this high-tech typewriter. It was quite a big deal at the time. Now there's a way to type that gets your paperwork done right and done faster. No problem typing from Lanier. You want your work back error-free? No problem. Corrections are made here instead of on paper. Want to move a paragraph? No problem. Add or delete a sentence? No problem. Wow. Want your typing back sooner? But back then, that was like the first lunar no mission. Problem. This electronic is a no typing. problem electronic from typewriter from Lanier, of course. This high tech done gadget done was two grand. Wow. Whoa. Don't you remember when VCRs first came out in the yeah. 80s? Yeah, Those were like too, right? thousands of bucks a pop. Yeah. Right. What would that cost in today's money? If a VCR was 2,000 bucks in 1985, yeah. Isn't that like 15 grand? Probably. Uh, right? In today's money? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm bad with math on that stuff, to be honest with you. Yeah. Get out of past simple addition and I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> subtraction. I'm Done. A little bit better with subtraction. Well, plus, the kids now have this common core math, and the adults yeah. have to relearn math to yeah. teach their kids math to help yeah. them with homework. Right. It's a That's huge not pain. Job. Yeah, I tell no. the kids they're on their own on yep. that stuff. Yeah. Right. It's like what teachers figure it are out. for, yeah. Right. Number seven. This 3D shape shifting display from MIT is amazing. It's called Inform. It renders 3D content physically so users can interact with digital information but in a tangible way. So uh, look at uh, how this, this guy can move the ball with his hands without really touching it. Oh. Hmm. Well, what's the point of this? Opens up all Why sorts of possibilities. Why not just touch the ball? It's right there in front of you. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's a fair question. <laughs> this is dumb. Well, this is a waste of time and money. Someday Paul will be able to pet his cats even when he's not home. So there is a use for it. Paul has cats, cats now too? Yeah, yeah. Cats. Yeah. How many that cats do you weary. have? I'm up to a 12. 12. So big. Oh, so just dozen, 12? Dozen yeah. Cats. yeah. Yeah. I think they're yeah. his wife's, but he doesn't want her getting a reputation as being yeah. a cat lady. Yeah. So he takes that on himself. Yeah. yeah. It's really <laughs> magnanimous of yeah. you too. Okay. Do. <laughs> Number six. Here's a good commercial from a few years back from Denmark. Bowling ball so, down there, yeah. San Francisco oh, this is trouble. Hill. Bowling ball. Oh mercy! Hey. Oh Whoa. boy! Oh boy! He's D -E -D. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, he's going into the head. Good. The head that kind of took yeah. a. Yeah. I think it was a little dark. Yeah, wow. yeah. you yeah, know, yeah. fractured skulls can be pretty funny too. Yeah. <laughs> Massive head trauma, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> it can be depending on the And mood. then he died because yeah. he didn't have glasses on. Yeah, right now. 
<laughs> the glasses are the least thing that he's now. <laughs> yeah, we won't have that problem again. All right, time for number five already. Uh, this guy looks like a lot like Ryan Gosling. <laughs> His name is Grant, and he's from Australia. He's a police officer, he has two kids. After people kept telling him how much he looked like the Goss, uh, his wife talked him into uh, quitting his job to be a professional look-alike. So he's also getting some modeling jobs. Why? Is that a career you would take to be a look-alike? Well, uh, considering I get told I look like Gilbert Godfrey all the time, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, at some point, and I get and I get change. Donny Osmond, and I'm you know a little tired of that one. Too. Yeah, is there yeah. a big market for Donny Osmond lookalikes no, these no. days? There's I can not, sing though. I can no, do you could do like parties. little variety yeah. shows. Yeah, some singing. Yeah, you may want to think about it, dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, you can sing, so it's Donny <laughs> yeah. Osmond. You could go to a lot of senior citizens' homes where they're right, they're not going to know anyway. They won't know the difference. Yeah. You yeah. could probably make a lot more money than you're mm -hmm. making here. Right. Hours would be better. Right. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Pick your own, choose your own hours. Choose your own hours. Right. Right. Probably be early, early but not places. too early. You yeah. have the pick of the litter there. Yeah, yeah. you I'll could tell you that right yeah. now, too. And it's you could take uh, Lauren along and just say she's Maria Osmond. I am not Osmond. part of it. And just go on Donnie Lee, work the senior citizen circuit. You could make zillions. You can be my agent. You can well, take 10%. We, I, I think we have to get approval from Larry, who is Marie Osmond's biggest fan. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. He is actually right. a yeah. very big fan of Marie Osmond. But it, it, it's an opportunity now. knocking for you, okay. though, Dan. All right. and, I don't want to tell you what to do. I'll look forget, but there's a future there at least. This place is nothing for you here. Bro. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna to text. I'm going to text my agent right now yeah, and look into this. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, there's senior side hustle, hustle. Like, uh, let me know. starting like the North Shore. Yeah, I could do a little <laughs> side hustle of that too. Around up there. <laughs> Number four, you can now sleep at the Palace of Versailles, which housed kings and queens of France in the 16 and 1700s. A hotel of sorts is opened on the property. It's called Le Grand Control. Oh, that was good. I didn't speak French. You can get access to the palace after hours, so you can explore lots of areas tourists don't get to see, from private rooms to the gardens. Plus, you'll get your own tour guide and a personal butler. Prices yeah. start at two thousand dollars. That's kind of overpriced. You ever been there? Yeah. 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 It's kind of outdated. I'm just yeah. gonna say, there's yeah. not, <laughs> air, not even air conditioning. No, so there. Look, at those, yeah. look at those drapes. The gardens are cool. Yeah. Yeah, but, but you're not yeah, sleeping in the garden. You're not sleeping outside, Dan. You can see the no, garden. You want that wallpaper? Look at how repulsive that yeah, is. Come on. Yeah. They need to step it up. Give me a nice. Hilton Garden Inn a with a yeah. breakfast buffet. Mm -hmm. Take that over that. Some mini fridge in there. Yeah. Little right. kitchenette. The Hall of Mirrors. What's was that? That long hall with all those mirrors. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah but they just put a mirror. In the, look at the mirror, the closets, uh, the Renaissance inns. Yeah, there's like 300 of you. Yeah. If you position them right. Right. It's better than that it's thing. Eat better Versailles. experience than Versailles. Way better and cheaper too. Much yeah. cheaper. All right, yeah. number three. If you're like me, yeah, you love reading about the celebrities of Hollywood mm. in Us Weekly magazine. Oh, yeah. And one of the great journalistic features they do is that stars, they're just like us. Mm -hmm. Shows how even the rich and famous do the same mundane things we all do each day. For instance, uh, Charlize Theron. Uh, likes to sometimes steal packages from people's porches. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> ah, who's that starlet behind those shades? I was wondering why my sheets never arrived. Yeah. Just like, just us. like us. Here's uh, angry chef Gordon Ramsay uh, robbing a bank. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, Betty, he's really a bank robber, huh? Curse that teller. Right? He didn't need the money. I guess he just does it for the thrill. Uh huh. Just like us. Sure. And look, here's Paul Rudd, the nicest man in Hollywood, <laughs> drinking and driving. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Again, I didn't write these. <laughs> right? Just right. Probably yes, should have presented. previewed these scripts a little bit ahead of time. It was all right until that last one. Yeah. And then well, I, you know, I accused the man I, of committing a felony. Yeah. And then we probably you probably went right over the You, know, you might have to issue an apology yeah. later on. I'm just the, the word puppet. I'm just yeah. reading just the words read the on words the machine. Yeah. It's not our Today. fault. Number two, take a look at this beast here. It's called the Goliath tigerfish. Well. It is mostly found in the Congo River. It can grow up to five feet, highly predatory. It will eat just about any other fish, and there's right. no fish that can take it down. The only real predator it has is the Nile crocodile, and yes, there are lots oh. of report of it attacking humans. I'll bet. Wow, is that the Facebook guy back there? Zuckerberg? Yeah, I think that was him. Really? What are you yeah. talking about? He was what? holding the fish in the river there. Yeah, let's take another look here, see if that's his yeah, it was him. We call him Zuck. No, not no, that that's guy. not Zuck. No, that wasn't him. Let's see if this. Well, that's an ugly fish, if I might say. Yeah, that's that's not Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, what, what, yeah, that that does that not crazy? look like Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, that's that, him. You're crazy, and uh, you need new glasses. No. Then. All right. Okay. Priority number one, Paul. Well, whatever. 
Uh, number one, uh, we're looking at some of the best Father's Day movies leading up to Sunday. This one is a classic tearjerker from Field of Dreams. Good night, Ray. Good night, John. That orchestra music kicks in, yeah. Kind of dry in the house. Who does a handshake at bedtime? Hey. Well, Dad? How are you guys seeing their dead fathers playing baseball in a cornfield? Oh, really? Is that yeah. what's going That's on? Traditionally. Who's the father? <laughs> uh, not Kevin Costner. That the guy's a dad? He looks so much younger. I don't know what the appropriate the reading movie? is. If you've seen your father 30 years younger, Right. It's a ghost playing yeah, that's baseball confusing. in I your cornfield. This guy was the father. It's not really a hug situation. This is not good. It's a formal. It's a very formal situation. This is nice. You yeah. play a little catch before yeah, he's into it. I love that Paul's like. His dad looks so young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never seen Field of yeah. Dreams. That's the whole nah, point. I heard this one blows. <laughs> <laughs> his dad looks yeah. so young. <laughs> Not the best form. Uh, yeah, I mean, for a professional yeah. baseball player, yeah, the dad's extend that arm a little bit more. Kind of lacking a little bit. Everybody's a critic. Who's she? Days. She a mother or a sister? That was She's the girlfriend uh, and Uncle Buck. This That's cannot who she be. Is. Uh, you're not helping matters. No, it's not no, Dan, don't. don't more. It's yeah. not. Remember, right. she was the girlfriend and Uncle Buck. So Ran the tires. Do you think that Paul saw Uncle Buck? No, I haven't seen that one either. Mm. No. But that was fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Put that on your list of movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Na 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 na